So it seems someone could be giving you mixed signals. You don't know what to feel or think about someone or this is their energy towards you. I feel when it comes to you, you only want peace and harmony, some type of understanding. And someone is just thinking about a second chance, an opportunity, a way to make amends with you without resurfacing the past. This is someone who wants to show you a sense of devotion, but they're also in a space where they're not truly knowing how to deal or heal. So they could be avoiding you, even though they're thinking about you. This is someone who is going through an emotional storm because of their choices and their ways of being. This energy is going through unstable times. This energy is truly affected by how they chose to abandon or deal with you. I feel this energy has cloudy judgment when it comes to reaching out or returning. And this is why they're holding some type of anger, resentment, bitterness when it comes to peace. This energy is confused and conflicted. I feel this energy is conf confused and conflicted to the chemistry. This energy is not wanting to be attracted to you or towards you, but I feel they are in a space where they're getting all the signs to make something right mm -hmm. or even acknowledge what they have done. Yet this energy is still resisting. Mm -hmm. This is why they're only thinking and going through an emotional storm because of it. This is someone who is resisting through distance. This energy feels they have cursed themselves in a way through silence, but they're still giving in and investing in it. This is someone who is very exhausted, still running, because they're still making mistakes. This is someone who feels they're being misunderstood, and this is why they're trying to calculate their mistakes. Mm -hmm not realizing the true debt of their choices. Someone is still hoping time will fade away the details of the memories. This energy is thinking about the possibilities, hmm. but still not realizing they're distracted by their pride. I feel this energy can be very ruthless or stubborn when they want to be. They're still chasing a thrill daydreaming about a soulmate, a family, a true apology. This energy is clinging to the conflict. I feel this energy is clinging to the stress and the conflict because they're calling it bluff. This energy is pretending and, and, and exaggerating, but they're just not going deep enough. Hmm. This energy is not aware of how to heal or deal. So they have begun to get more hopeless and more resent resentful towards you. Hmm. So it seems like this energy is becoming more resentful because of their pride and the fact that they are unsatisfied. They're still chasing something that they'll never find. I feel they're chasing something when it comes to foundation. I feel something just might be unclear or there's no closure, but something just might be final. This is why someone is going through an emotional storm because their karma is real. Someone's karma is causing them to pursue things that doesn't fill their cup. This is why they're always chasing, hmm. always obsessed. But also, this time I feel due to this cause and effect and they're dead, they can't escape what they're hiding, what they're concealing, whatever this dead is, something or someone needs to come clean when it comes to something that is clearly broken. I feel something is broken when it comes to a commitment. Someone is lusting, yet still trapped because they are lacking when it comes to loyalty. I feel this energy is shattered, broken, destroyed in some way, yet needing to heal or purify, cleanse their energy. But someone is causing a scene or calling your bluff, still wearing a mask. I feel like someone feels like some way, somehow they can still get away with some things they have done in the past. This energy is trying to shake some things up behind the scenes, hoping that you won't find out the full truth about someone or something, whatever it is, they're fully attached to it. Let's get a final card here, Holy Spirit. I feel this is someone who is thinking about returning, but they're too shallow to face their karma. I feel this energy knows they need to make a confession, be real with you, but 
I feel they can't be real with you until they be real with themselves. Hmm. So they could be clinging to whatever they have left just so they can try their best to forget about what they could have had with you. Let's get some more energy here. I feel this energy thinks about reaching out and returning all the time, but there is no peace where this energy has become shallow, empty, but also bored with what they have given in, given into. Hmm. Because there is a lot of sacrifice where there is no reward. Hmm. And something is vacant when it comes to this energy, and this is why they're just in the space of thinking. But I feel while in that space of thinking, someone is going through an emotional an emotional storm and they're pressed. Wow. This is someone who is pressed and feeling some type of way about giving you an apology or unveiling something or sending some type of message. I feel this energy is strategizing in some way when it comes to mind games. This energy could be in savage mode because it's all starting to hit different. Something is starting to hit di different when it comes to someone who knows that you are a major key or something that they failed to do was very important, but I feel they have become a brick wall. Someone is guarded and very defensive about being senseless, toxic, or even irrational. Someone is very toxic or out of sync. Someone is all kept and telling both face sides because they're still hiding behind a mask and being petty with you, and they know it. I feel this energy is in savage mode, wanting others to believe them, wanting to continue a facade that has already come to an end. This is why something is starting to hit different when it so comes to someone who is thinking of you, yet not wanting to. Hmm. Because someone is caught up. Caught up in their bold faced lies. Someone is caught up with being all talk. The mind games are getting the best of them because someone has broken something beyond repair. Someone is very vulnerable, but I feel something is not a safe space for you because someone is still not being an adult about what they have done and what they're still doing. This energy is coming out as jaded. Jaded about how they took flight, agitated you got themselves entangled in something and took a lot of losses and sacrifices because there's so much failure. Hmm. Wow. And disappointment. There's so much pain when it comes to this energy who is lashing out at you. I feel they have mixed emotions about their humiliation because they know they risked it all. Someone risked it all for nothing. They look at what they risked everything for and this energy is not satisfied. This is why this energy is still lurking, still hoping to win or outsmart you in some way. This energy is still not making the best of choices. I feel this is someone who knows something is old news or whatever they once had with you is long gone. This energy really doesn't know how to come at you. This is why they're triggered and in their feelings. Someone is in their feelings because they can't manifest. They can't make something work because you're too suspicious of their sketchy behavior. I feel someone is just triggered because they know they got caught. Someone's in their feelings because of their toxic ways, but they're not wanting to seem or feel weak about it. This energy doesn't want to feel weak about being a fraud or being t twisted, vacating, or retreating just to figure something out. I feel this energy has become unhinged, hmm. impulsive, more than usual. And this is why they're triggered and traumatized, because they have failed. Someone has failed in every attempt to bring you down or cause some type of confusion or distract the situation with the squad of family. Someone took a lot of risk when it comes to an inner circle, but now that something is coming full circle, it's giving a plot twist. Someone never saw it coming. This is a sudden change where there is a curveball where someone started a war. They're now beefing with a third party. Someone is regretting the fact that they were fake woke, but I feel they're too deep now. Hmm. 
someone is too deep in something that is toxic and they don't know who to be angry with. Hmm. But I feel blaming something on you or pushing the narrative of you being the foundation of an issue has now become a complete fail as everyone is looking at them like a fool for even playing with you. I feel this is someone who is being a hypocrite. They're talking in circles. I feel this energy wants to be mad at you, but they can't. They know that there is a real, a real vibe, but they're also getting a gut feeling that is also out of everyone's hand. This is why someone is spiteful, jealous, salty, trying to backtrack, but they can't. Something is old news. Some Someone doesn't want to reminisce or someone is reminiscing, but this sudden change has caused them to realize that something is too far gone, to pretend something is misunderstood. I feel someone just doesn't know how to be simple about it. Someone doesn't know how to be simple or authentic enough to keep it real with you, to have this real talk this heart-to-heart, -heart, this deep conversation, in person or not, someone is throwing shade because they can't purge, re release, or detox. But I feel something you did out of brutal honesty is about to change the game. I feel many of you moving in silence, allowing this energy to deal with the mess they have made is even bigger than you lashing out or reacting to anything that they feel they can throw your way. In fact, I feel someone is just wasting time because in the end, from what I can see, it all seems to go your way. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages here for the collective energies? I feel this is someone who just can't be real. So they've been petty by taking flight, turning their back, hoping that you will react, but I feel them leaving you on red is now causing someone to be triggered. Hmm. So it seems like someone is all capped when it comes to them pretending to live a good life. It's all fake, it's all lies, it's all cap. it's a pipe dream that someone is trying to sell everyone. But this energy is the only one believing the lie. This is someone who is now caught up in savage mode, caught up in a false fantasy. Someone wants to take action, but they know they left you on red. Someone ignored you and now they're in a space where they're not wanting to be ignored. I feel this energy wants to love on you. But they feel like you'll be unresponsive or they know that has been their energy. I feel this is someone who knows there's a lot of missed calls or messages that they didn't adhere to. So they are isolating themselves. Someone is remote and going having mental issues or going through mental issues and this is why it's all starting to get different. This is someone who allowed others to put a key in their back or someone is causing some toxic things to go on behind the scenes but whatever the case. This is someone who allowed situations to control their mindset and this is how they got too deep. I feel like this energy became a wrecking ball to you and everyone else and this is why they became unresponsive. They were too busy causing havoc in their life. I feel this is someone who gave into the smoke and mirrors of finessing. Finessing you or trying to finesse others. Yet I sense things have gone so far, this energy doesn't even remember how things started or why they're even upset with you. I feel this energy was trying to finesse something, but something clearly got out of hand when it comes to the smoke and mirrors and the fact that they are in too deep or they cause so much damage by being a wrecking ball. Someone is having a problem when it comes to cleansing house or even cleansing their energy. I feel this is someone who is wanting to eliminate a third party or they're wanting to eliminate some of the choices and decisions they have made but I feel due to the toxic love that they have given, the lies, all of the slander and sabotage, it's all become a mounting pressure. It's all becoming a burden. This is why someone is realizing they can't cause any worry or trigger your fears with their lies or fabricating stories. Hmm. 
I feel they have already disappointed you in a big way, and I feel at this point there's not much they can do that you haven't already seen. I feel this energy may have cursed themselves when they're still in the energy of believing you cursed them. I feel all you did was walk away to find some type of solace or sense of what is senseless, but this energy was full of scare tactics, still trying to create a narrative, but now all I feel they think about is what they did to you. Everything they try to forget, they now think about in a big way or something just can't stop running through their head what they know they did or what they know they're trying to hide I feel there's underlying issues here that keep them in this space I feel they have done too much too fast and they have overindulged by creating some type of war or competition trying to win at all costs someone created too many differences I feel this is someone who has an insatiable thirst to be toxic or be the focus. But I also feel they thought they had you pegged. They thought they had you hostage. But I feel they could be on a mission to strategize, to get you to follow again. I feel this is someone who is trying to create some type of trap or some type of situation where they can get you to give in or react. I feel any type of response is good enough for them, but I feel this is someone who is also seeking attention and they're wanting that attention from you or anyone who will give it to them. I feel this is someone who is following the crowd and they're upset with you because you won't follow. In fact, I feel they become bitter because it's a hard pill to swallow. I feel this is someone who now has excessive baggage, baggage because they feel rejected, but I feel the fact that they don't make things feel safe or this energy is a, a problem because of their huge ego or they feel like they're too big to fail. They have created some very damaging situations that need clarity. Hmm. And if not clarity, at least some type of acknowledgement. This is someone who needs to change their behaviors. But the fact that they don't know how or why this started, they don't know how to start or where to begin. This is why someone continues to fab fabricate stories or have a mouthful of lies. I feel this is someone who is trying to forget. Trying to forget about what they have done. Hmm. but it's all replaying and for many of you you're living rent free in their mind and this is what's becoming the burden someone can't play the victim and someone is needing help financially and someone is not wanting to ask you even though they want to someone knows that you will no longer be as generous as you used to and they also know they can't escape what they usually run from and since they can't play the victim, they're having some type of behavioral issues because they can't finesse. I feel there are also long-term investments that are now catching up to them. And because they refuse treatment or refuse some type of assistance, whatever scheme they had going on is, is bound to fail. I feel this is someone who is about to do something as clickbait hoping you react, but I feel many of you are already burnt out. Something has reached its peak, and this is why someone has found a way to be salty with you. As this energy knows deep down, there is no true reward for the chances they took, yet due to their inability to solve problems, their lack of trying has only caused many of you to feel the worst and believe the worst, as they have always found a way to disappoint you. I feel this is someone who tried to f make you feel foolish for your own mindset and your own ways of doing and thinking. This is someone who is clearly trying their best to agitate you. Now they are trying to numb the pain because this energy is unchanged. I feel this is someone who is refusing to answer any questions. Hmm. And I feel they're doing that intentionally to gaslight you because they know that they were giving you the evil eye but I feel they're now feeling singled out. 
The fact that this energy is feeling singled out, they have gone cold on you. This is hot and cold energy of someone who is difficult to please, but I feel this is someone who is going through crisis, stress, and avoiding you because others have disassociated themselves with them. Someone doesn't want you to know that you are right. So it seems like someone doesn't want you to know that you were right for your, for taking a step back or allowing them to go through something or allowing others to see the truth about them regardless of what you know or what you think. I feel your silence allowed others to see the truth about them regardless of what they were trying to hide. I feel there are a lot of energies here who decided to cut ties with them. Hmm. And I feel running back to you, it's just it's too much to consume or bear because they're still thinking about the win instead of making it right with you. Hmm. Let's get some more energy. I feel like this is someone who knows they're hiding the truth. As well as some mental health issues here, please take it high risk. I know you said it's not for everyone, but I feel it's holding them back. I feel whatever they're denying or trying to forget is causing more chaos. Because as this energy allows the confusion to take over, time and sanity continues to slip away. I feel this is someone who is still on the prowl, still difficult to please, because they're in their feelings. Someone is in their feelings and feeling they need to play nice, but I feel this energy still has a big appetite, and many of you don't trust it. Many of you don't trust the fact that you know they still have an appetite for toxic ways. I feel this energy is desperate, and that makes them unpredictable. I feel this energy is desperate, as well as distracted, and this is why many of you feel something cannot be trusted trusted and I feel that causes this energy to sit in an energy of madness because they can't gain your trust they can't influence you through fake kindness this energy is low-key wanting your attention but faking their kindness to do so I feel this is someone who is low-key playing mind games just to take from you instead of give to you I feel this is someone who is tempted to call or temptation calls, but I feel that is the problem. This is someone who has become a problem because it feels like their cruel intentions have caused them to become a hidden assassin. You don't know what to think and what you're going to get when it comes to them. Even though there's pockets of emotion and many of you still have love for them, this energy has shed their skin only to become a bigger snake. Hmm. This energy is coming out as a beautiful liar, someone you want to believe, but they can't be trusted. I feel this is someone who can't shift you, and this is why they're upset. I feel this energy can't shift you, can't manipulate you, and this is why they've become the silent one. But I feel they're still flirting with danger. Hmm. I feel this energy is still flirting with danger, wanting to control but I feel you're aware. You're aware that someone is trying to install some type of fear. But I feel they're overthinking things when it comes to their cold heart. They were warned. And many of you have chosen to back off or just let something be. And that has become a burden for them. Because they never saw something changing. For some of you, you don't know why or where this even comes from, but I feel it comes from a very spiteful or petty place, or for some of you, it just might come from a place of jealousy. I feel this is someone who wants to be let back in, but this energy has a tag team mentality that only makes it difficult to trust because it seems like they just switch up on you at any moment. This is the hot and cold energy of someone who can play nice but also be very grimy in the same moment. And this is why many of you don't feel safe or your guard is up when it comes to someone who has been very unpredictable with you. 
I feel like this is someone who really doesn't understand that love shouldn't hurt, but I feel they are sitting in a space of madness or anger because they can't persuade or control you through influences. I feel this is someone who is still tapping into things that keep them in a very dark space. This is someone who knows what they threw away with you, and they're still wanting to be admitted into your life, but they're not wanting to admit it. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? But as I said before, due to their confusion, they're only allowing the sanity, the insanity, to continue. I feel this energy has become a problem. Even though they're in their feelings, they know they can't set the record straight. Because many of you are protecting yourself, standing your ground, not allowing someone to repeat something that they are continuing. This energy is still not setting the record straight because they're still not wanting to change. But I feel in so many ways you could be protecting yourself and standing your ground because you already know either they're too set in their ways or too old to change. As it almost feels, the time they were given to grow or see the truth, they only used it to distort the truth even more. And this is why many of you are no longer listening to someone's words because their actions have said everything. I feel you could be standing your ground when it comes to someone who is still making bad choices, starting arguments, wanting to put you in your place, but due to their recent nightmares and even their reality and fake friends, they're starting to realize what they destroyed. Because they know without a shadow of a doubt, it's shattered. Someone is hoping in due time you will find a way to forgive, but I feel forgiveness isn't their problem issue coming back that's gonna be the issue as I see in many ways this energy still has so much to go through and so much to learn I feel this is someone who still has a lot of love for you but this energy is in a space where they're still not in the best mindset Someone is upset because they feel like others are watching this all go down and no one is helping. And this is where the fake friends are coming from. Someone is definitely in their feelings about that. But they're also seeing this third party energy. It's a problem. Someone's allowing something to be destroyed or watching it all go down as it falls apart. And this has become their nightmare. Someone feels they can't set the record straight because you're protecting yourself or you just clearly don't want to hear it but I feel it's only causing someone to go deeper into debt or further into a space of wanting to know who they are with you because they know they're not at their best without you but I sense if their nightmares and their choices isn't enough to change they'll continue to result to the sympathy and the goodwill of others to keep them busy but due to their lack of solving their issues, it's all going to go up in flames in the end. I feel things are about to pop off. Things are going up in flames and someone is still riding it out. Someone is in their feelings hoping someone changes, but someone has always been the same. Something has always been toxic. They know it. And this is why they're keeping it all a secret. But I feel it's all being exposed. Their lies, their addictions, the fake apologies, what they threw away. It's all being exposed while someone is pretending they're too busy. I feel this energy is feeling like, like they're under spiritual attack, but someone is just needing to get it right. Someone is needing to understand that they can't keep this secret and they can't put on this show. Mm. Someone is realizing their ways of thinking is outdated. Something has expired. Someone's needing to get something right with you because before it's too late. And for many of you, you already feel they have already run out of time. Someone needs to check themselves when it comes to the games they play, the manipulation, the lies, stringing things along, the broken promises. Someone's brainstorming, hoping they can burn the evidence or distort something in some way. And this is why many of you can't trust them because they're still sitting in a space of betrayal. Many of you still see them 
as someone who is carrying the energy of the seed, a snake, someone who will easily stab you in the back, especially when their needs change. I feel many of you don't want to know the tea when it comes to a runner, someone who is already caught up in some real big changes. Many of you are already over it, tired of the drama, and they know it. And this is why they feel you won't hear them out. But it's the fact that this energy is unaligned and still dealing with a third party is the real reason many of you are cautious. But it's only causing them to be more angry about everything because there's nothing truly to hate about you. I feel no one is perfect. You have your flaws, but I feel this energy knows you're the only one who got close enough to deal with their wicked ways. And this is why someone is needing to take action when it comes to family or just stepping up as a parent or a person. I feel this is someone who is only worried about what you're attracting hmm. instead of making something clear or making something right with you. Someone is hoping to ride something out because this is how they handle things. As I said before, they're just not used to solving their issues and this is their true problem. Hmm. But I feel their idle time is only driving them insane as the one thing they refuse to think about seems to be the only thing on their mind. But I sense even if they try to shake the thought of you, and which they do, they could never truly forget. They could never truly forget you, even if they tried. But I feel they're so caught up. It just might be a season where it's game over. As you may have put all you could into a situation that just might be out of your hands or no longer worth your time.